So uh, it's, uh, it's becoming very hard for me to uh, do parallel parking these days. I think it's because I uh, make too much jokes about about being Asian, and it, it became reality. You know, it's like a karma. It's not me, really. You know, it's just that my car is poor. It doesn't come with the sensor. Okay. So when you are poor, you 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 sad. Okay, you sad, and you uh, when you're sad and poor, you become spiritual. I want to open my third eyes so that when I parallel park, I can look look my car from above, right? So I start to do meditation as I drive now, right? Yeah, this car makes me sad because it has no air condition. So during the summer, I I drive with window down. Turn out it hurt your hearing. And I came all the way to Canada, all the way from Markham. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the highway is super long and ruined my hearing. I just find that out. I just find that out. One minute they're talking to you like you're normal. Well, after the diagnosis, the reception start to yell like I couldn't hear her or something, you know? So I start to meditate now in my car, in my sad car. So oh, this is not real. <laughs> Reality is just a dream. <laughs> Then uh, when I do this chanting in my head, I start to see signs from the universe, okay? Like parking, parking spot start to open up for me. <laughs> yeah, everywhere is empty parking slot. And uh, one time I encountered the easiest parallel parking spot, right? It's like three car of empty space, right? It's a sign, it's a sign from the universe. So the reality is a dream. Then I scratch someone. <laughs> Yeah, while the person is inside the car, so I have to pay, right? Uh, now I have to come up with eight hundred dollar of dream money to uh, to manifest it to pay for the damage. Yeah, sad, but it's okay. It's not real. It's not real. I'm just gonna manifest that person away. Yeah, dating is getting harder now. Dating is getting harder now because it's getting easier for women to find out about me. <laughs> it's like internet, right? Used to be a used to be mysteri the attractive to be mysterious. Now it's just a red flag. Right? Because women women got smarter now, they start to talk talk to each other now through the internet, right? Then they, they, they tell okay, they educate each other on the what is red flag like say like, uh, everything is red flag you know Netflix also tell you that all the men are serial killer <laughs> yeah yeah so women become so much more demanding now yeah they want you to have a job <laughs> don't be a psychopath yeah that's why I need at least two girlfriends now. So they can give each other emotional support <laughs> and share the burden, okay? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So much red flag. So I try to get rid of my red flag, right? Because there's no 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 hiding now, alright? No hiding. Because the evil Instagram and Facebook showing them how much I make a year based on uh, every day I wear the same thing, you know? Yeah. So uh <laughs> Yeah, I try to cut out my uh, red flag by focusing on my career now. But then, like, women keep trying to distract me through the Instagram. Like, the Instagram keeps showing me women with very little clothing. <laughs> and I'm trying to distract me from my warrior path. <laughs> yeah, the algorithm. The algorithm keeps showing me women. Uh -huh. uh, so, like, this one, I try to dilute the algorithm by watching more cat video and martial art video, right? <laughs> yeah. But no matter how much I try, the algorithm just read my mind. <laughs> the woman keep coming back like, uh, 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 so much woman. So much woman. Uh. Yeah. 
Instagram is evil. Every day I check my follower to see who unfollow me, then I unfollow them back. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, because um, I have a big ego, you know, because men have big ego, right? Especially when you get all this stage time. Yeah. That's why I need to tame my ego, because I'm spiritual, remember? So, I, I go to the club district to get rejected by all the women, like all the women in every club, to tame my ego, right? Food yeah, out the entire King Street, you know? It's, yeah, woman is interesting, huh? They uh, reject you on behalf of the BFF. <laughs> but she's not interested. <laughs> So the thicker the group of women are, the more likely I get rejected, right? So this is why I now play the long game by infiltrating the friends groups <laughs> to slowly divide and conquer, <laughs> right? I become BFFs, BFF, you know? It's, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. She, she doesn't know I'm not gay yet. <laughs> and and we spend so much time together listening to her stories because women have very important stories to tell us <laughs> a lot of stories but you got to listen though, man, we need to be better listener are, are you a good listener, the, the gay friend? <laughs> are, you, are you actually gay? is everyone asking <laughs> okay, okay, you know how to make sure is to uh, put a dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you like it. Like, mm, um, <laughs> like dick tasting, okay? So, oh, I don't like this one, okay? But uh, just because you don't like one dick doesn't mean you're not gay. Because uh, that only means you need to collect more data. <laughs> To, to make sure you're statistically accurate, <laughs> right? Okay, go, please do that, please do that. <laughs> Don't be a science denier. Okay? <laughs> yeah, so we need to listen to women's stories, okay? Because, you know, because the more you listen, like two hours, six hours, you start to like, unlock a new level. Yeah. It, it, they, they start to tell you about their childhood <laughs> or the trauma or the, 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 and then the, the ex-boyfriend it's almost like a yeah, that's what happened to that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's oh, yeah. like a, that, I hope she has a good voice because uh, you know I six also listen to him and he's blah 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 yeah, because the more you listen, like the, is the more that she tell you about her secret. Uh, it's like a detailed instruction manual on how to how to manipulate her. <laughs> a, but uh, but you know what? I can I feel like I can trust you guys with this power to not abuse it. You know what? Because we we. Are, we just, because I believe everyone who come to the comedy show are good men. We're, we're, we're allies, allies. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, I have fat stalker. I have a fat and smelly stalker. Not only is he fat, but also smelly. He, uh, he, uh, he told me he has a fat fetish, right? But he also he keep telling me, uh, sorry, I've been losing weight. Like he keep repeating it, like that would make me attract to him because he always think I'm gay, right? He always think I'm gay, so all he have to do is just lose some weight. That's what he think. By now he should be negative weight. <laughs> make out of anti-matter, right? But he like to squeeze his own fat, he said, like in the shower. And he always text me how he's in the shower, he's about to jump into shower. Like he's trying to plan this image in my head, right? And always try to talk to me through fake social media account because I block them, right? And uh, one time we are in shower together. <laughs> in my nightmare. In the nightmare. Because <laughs> the image is, it entered, it entered my head. One time he asked me in person because sometimes he come to my show and also bother my friend, right? It's not like we can stop him from doing what he want to do. 
So he asked me, Sai, do you uh, like the sensation of pooping? <laughs> I said, yeah, everyone does. <laughs> go on, I know where this is going, but <laughs> go on. Okay, so like, do you know you can simulate this pooping feeling? You no, know, if you want this feeling to last a little bit longer, if not forever, Right? It's like a poetry, you know, because it's my word. I, I paraphrase him. He is not that eloquent, okay? So, so if you want to simulate pooping, I can help you out, oh, bro. You know, no homo. Just bro, help him, bro. You know, just, you know how you do it? Just put a dick into your ass and then you can control how long it lasts. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> you like pooping? You like, you like the sensation? Sensation. Some people have more nerve ending in the in in that area. That's why they enjoy pooping more. Maybe that's a correlation between the pooping lover and gay, you know, and ain't no ain't no lover. Anyway, so uh, so I reject his proposal in, but only in this universe, you know, because in the multiverse, all possibility exists. If you watch Marvel, you know, there's parallel universe. So in this universe, I rejected him. But in another universe, we are, we are similarly pooping together. <laughs> yeah, because I know this is not true love. This just He just want to dominate and brag about me to my friend. I bend sight into ass. <laughs> so it just bothered me that in another universe, I, 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 I let him do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I do comedy in a different area. Sometimes in area where there are homophobic people, right? So I know that I find out they are homophobic because I ask them if they have put a dick in their mouth recently. <laughs> Some of them like like cool like him. I right? said, yeah, um, yeah, um, maybe. And then, <laughs> but some of them are like, no, no, uh, 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 all right. Then I know they are homophobic. So, uh, so I ask them. Uh, do you believe in the multiverse? <laughs> <laughs> they always fell for the trap because the homophobic people are, are stupid, right? <laughs> Some of them will, will fight to the end. Will fight to the end. They say like, yeah, I believe there are an infinite number of universe and infinite version of me, but all of them are straight. <laughs> Like, how do you know? How do you know? Did you travel to those gay universe and to kill your gay self? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, okay, okay. Here's the uh, other thing that I don't understand when I... Uh, since I come to Canada, right? How come when a 40 years old man is dating a 16 years old girl is creepy? But when a 100 and something years old is dating a 16 years old girl, it's vampire love story. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the vampire need the like we need some glass under the sun? Do they? Do you think they need need the moon glass? Because the moon reflects some UV. Do they get moon burn? Get moon burn under the moon? Get moon bathing? Okay, it seems like this last one is not funny. It's just. <laughs> It's just a smart, it's just smart, but not funny. Okay. <laughs> All right, let, welcome back, your very funny host, Luke. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.